welcome back everyone so while browsing on your windows pc and laptop you create a lot of cache junk in the temporary file that slow down the performance and even occupy a lot of storage but no problem i will be sharing the complete way to delete all these junk and unwanted item to make your computer clean and much faster so make sure guys you do not skip any part and without any delay let's quickly get started But before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as this will not cost you anything but will help my channel to bring more valuable content for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem okay so the very first thing that you have to do you need to bring up your file explorer on windows 11 from the top you will have to click on the three dot then you will have to click on options now here in the general section only at the bottom you will find clear file explorer history so you will have to click on clear just click on it once then you will have to click on ok now next from the left hand menu option you will have to click on this pc then you have to double click on local disk c here look for the windows folder once you get it make a double click on it and here in the windows you have to look for the folder by the name software distribution so come to the S section and you will find software distribution. Double click on it. And here you'll find the download folder. Just make a double click on it again. Now this will contain all kind of update files that are not required anymore. And it occupy a lot of space in your drive. So what you will have to do from your keyboard, you can press control along with the A key to select them all. Once selected, now you need to press the shift and the delete key from your keyboard and it will say are you sure you want to permanently delete this 16 item so click on yes if you get any kind of prompt then you will have to click on continue once done now you can close it now next we have to delete all kind of temporary file as well so right click on the windows icon click on run in the run box you have to type first temp temp then click on ok click on continue Again, select all by pressing Ctrl A key from your keyboard. Now, why we are using the shift and the delete key to delete all these items? Because if you make a right click on it and then if you choose delete, it will not be permanently deleting all the file. OK, so what we have to do, we need to select all, then press shift and delete key. And now it will be permanently deleting all these file. Whichever item you get, try again message. You can check the box and click on skip because probably these files are still running in the background next again right click on the windows icon click on run this time you have to type percent temp percent click on ok select all the item again by using the Control a key then press shift and delete key and click on yes and you can see that it occupied a lot of storage all right so let it get deleted and if you again get this kind of prompt, then you can check the box, click on skip. And now you can close it. Again, right click on Windows icon, click on run. This time you have to type prefetch. Click on continue. Again, press Ctrl A, then shift and delete to delete all these items. And now next you have to click on your Windows search, type disk cleanup. From the suggestion, you will have to click on disk cleanup. Now it asks you that select the drive. So keep your C drive selected, click on OK then it will come up with this kind of box now here it will ask you that what all you want to delete the download program file temporary internet file windows error report and feedback direct x shader cache delivery optimization file recycle bin if you want to empty your recycle bin then you can check that temporary file check this item and then you have to click on ok and it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete this file? So yes, click on delete file because these are only the temporary and the junk file. Now it may take some time depending how much data need to be cleared. So wait until it's all been done. And once it get completed, next right click on windows icon, then click on settings. In the setting from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on apps. Click on installed apps. And it will display all kind of your bloatware, all kind of application that you have manually installed. Now here you have to look each and every application and whichever you are not using, you need to go ahead and uninstall them. A part of third party application, you can also look for any kind of bloatware that comes along with your Windows 10 or 11. 
you can also go ahead and uninstall them in case if you are not using them for example maps if you don't use a map on your computer then you can click on the three dot on the right of it and choose uninstall similarly look for other bloatware and other program and application whichever you don't use go ahead and uninstall them in case if there is any kind of bloatware like microsoft edge you will not be getting the uninstall option highlighted for that i have already created a video that how you can remove and uninstall these stub born bloatware from your windows machine in case if you have any problem with any particular application or program let's say my minecraft launcher is not working properly then you have to look for that particular application on the right of it click on the three dot then click on advanced option and here you can scroll down and you will find the reset option so click on reset and click reset again and it will be deleting the app data on this device including your preferences and sign in detail so the next time when you open this application it might ask you to sign in again okay but at least it will be clearing all the data and it will be resetting the application once done now here in the settings only from the left hand menu option you will have to click on privacy and security and here you have to scroll down a bit you will find the location and we also need to clear the location cache and data so click on location then scroll down to the bottom and you will find the location history and it says when device location is on your location is stored and available for a limited time on this device so you will have to clear this history so click on clear once and once it shows you the tick mark then you are good to go and now next from the left hand menu option only you will have to click on system then you have to look for the storage option click on it and then it will display all kind of categories that is occupying the space on your drive on your ssd or hard drive so first here you have to look for the temporary files and this will list you that what kind of category has occupied the temporary file like recycle bin the download you might also find the software distribution that is windows old file in case if you don't need this download and the recycle bin item then you can just check them and delete from your computer once done you can go back do the same with onedrive document other just click on it click on view document and whichever you don't need go ahead and delete it all right so once we are done clearing the cache and junk from our windows machine now next we also need to clear the cache of the graphic card that is of gpu so if you're using a dedicated graphic card like nvidia then you will have to right click on windows icon click on run type here percent local app data percent again and then click on ok now here you have to look for the nvidia folder so search for nvidia once you get it double click on it now double click on the gl cache folder and there you might find different kind of folder so again you will have to press ctrl a to select all then press the shift and delete key to delete all these files so once you are done you can close it and if you're using the amd graphic card so for that you will have to right click on your desktop and click on amd software in case if you don't find in the right click option you can also search for amd click on amd software click on yes now here in the amd software from the top menu option you will have to click on gaming then click on the graphics tab and here you have to scroll down click on advanced again scroll down and at the very bottom you will find reset shader cache so it says perform reset so you have to click on it once then it says are you sure you want to clear the shader cache then you will have to click on ok so this will clear the cache of your amd card now once it's been done we will be also clearing the cache of the steam because majority of us are using the steam application so click on your windows search search for steam open it and once it's up from the left and top you will find the steam icon you will have to click on it then from the suggestion you will have to click on settings in the settings from the left and menu option you will have to click on downloads and here you will find clear download cache option so click on clear cache once then click on confirm and the steam will be restarting now all right so now we are only remaining with the browser part and we will be clearing the cache junk and all the temporary file from our browser so here for example i will be taking two different browsers like google chrome and microsoft edge so first bring up chrome browser click on the three dot that is on the right and top 
then from the suggestion you will have to click on settings now here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on privacy and security and then click on clear browsing data it might be selected to basic select to advanced time range select to all time now here you have to choose what exactly you want to delete now what i personally recommend you that uncheck password and autofill form data rest you can check all the boxes and click on clear data so depending how much data you have it may take some time and once it's been done you can also clear the cache and data from your microsoft edge browser so look for the edge browser open it click on the three dot that is on the right in top click on settings click privacy search and services from the left in menu option here you scroll down a bit you will find clear browsing data click choose what to clear select time range to all time again here you can uncheck password and autofill form data rest you can keep it checked then click on clear now all right so we are almost done and only remaining with two simple steps where we have to clear the cache of microsoft store and also of the dns so click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here first we will be clearing the dns cache for that you have to type ip config space for a slash flush dns now hit the enter key and it will say successfully flush the dns resolver cache now we also need to reset the cache of the microsoft store for that type ws reset dot exe again hit the enter key and it will be clearing the cache and bringing up your microsoft store again so that's all guys for today hopefully after applying all these solution once you restart the computer you will find the great change as we have successfully cleared all kind of cache junk and all kind of temporary item from your windows machine and hopefully guys you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye